Well, I know what I'm doing this weekend. The wait <laughs> is finally over. The blockbuster sequel, The Black Panther, is in theaters right now. Wakanda Forever is expected to be a smash at the box office. The sequel focuses on how Wakanda deals with the death of the Black Panther following the real-life death of actor Chadwick Boseman. Here to discuss the film is Eric Davis. He's the director of editorial and social at Fandango. Yes. Um, so, uh, you know, I know that you're a huge superhero fan. Yes. And when the first... Um, Black Panther was coming out. I think all we were all kind of moved because we had never seen a black superhero yeah. as the central figure in a blockbuster movie. And one of the things that I sort of like about the sequel is that everyone's interested. It's not about, oh, yeah. you have a black superhero. Yeah, yeah. It's that you have a great story and a great superhero. Yeah, I mean, that first one was a global phenomenon. Yeah. And this film, I think, had so much responsibility and weight placed upon its shoulders. Not only did it need to be, you know, a satisfying sequel to a blockbuster hit that yeah. was Black Panther, it also needed to honor the late, great Chadwick Boseman, who passed away between installments. And then it also has to further evolve the Black Panther franchise, which is really important to Disney, to Marvel Studios. You know, there is just another level to these films. Yeah. You know, there's a reason why that first Black Panther has multiple Oscar nominations. This one, I think, also multiple Oscar nominations. And that's not to take anything away from the other Marvel movies, which are all entertaining in their own right. There's, there's just something different about the Black Panther. What I roles. love, you're right, Eric, and one of the things that I think is really fantastic to see depicted on the big screen is how, for many, many years, since the dawn of film, essentially, a lot of the myths that we see depicted on the screen are generally Western myths. In other words, yeah. the storytelling is derived from myths that are either Greek or Roman mm -hmm. or, or Norse. In other words, like Thor, right? That's, yeah. a, that's a myth that comes from the, the Scandinavian mm -hmm. countries. Um, but in Black Panther, what people were finally able to see are African mythology mm -hmm. set in the future or set in a world where this technology makes Wakanda what it is, but, but the stories, and the things that you hear in the film are stories that have been told for thousands of years on the African continent that are being depicted here for all the world to finally see. And yeah. it made money. It made <laughs> well, a that's ton important of money too. Across, because that's also an issue in Hollywood. This idea that oh, maybe it'll sell yeah, in not America. Sell in China. But exactly that. It hasn't been the case. Yeah, I credit director Ryan Coogler with a lot of the success of this film. And I think especially in this one, Angela Bassett, Letitia Wright do a lot of heavy lifting. Mm. I think they are both going to be in the awards conversation. But Ryan Coogler really has a way of just creating these cultures that feel so real, feel so lived in. You know, mm. they, the Wakandians, they evolve that culture. They also introduce the Talokan, which is a new culture that comes Prince in. Namor. A water culture. Namor is, mm. a, is a big character in this film. And so they're just, they're just, you feel it. You feel these films. There's a lot of soul to them. Mm. And also, Haiti plays a big role in this, yes. in this film as well. Which I think is, is fantastic. I, I haven't seen it yet, but somebody on Twitter sent me a note and said, hey, by the way, there is... There's a moment, and I don't want to, I, I, they didn't give anything away to me. They just said there's a moment where um, the film emphasizes the Haitian Revolution and how seismic that was in world history. And it gets glossed over a lot because of the situation that Haiti is in now. Mm -hmm. But it's highlighted as a, as a really incredible, um, momentous occasion in world history mm -hmm. when these slaves were able to throw off their shackles and defeat an empire. Yeah, and let's just say the name Toussaint factors into this film. Whoa. Don't want to spoil it. But that was a, a very famous general who helped Whoa. lead this slave revolt. Uh, very much credited with ending European colonialism mm -hmm. in that part of the world. Uh, the name Toussaint translates in French to All Souls. All souls there's yeah. All Souls Day. There's a lot of wearing white. You wow. see in the trailer, there's I wearing white. It. There's a celebration of life. So that all is woven into the film in just such a beautiful way. And it all speaks to the so fact cool. that it's just these are films are on a different level. They mean more to a lot of people. Um, is it sad, though? Chadwick. Yeah. Yeah, it's sad, but it's also a celebration. While you're sitting there sort of mourning and celebrating Chadwick's life, you're seeing the characters mourning, celebrating King T'Challa's life. Mm -hmm. And there's almost this, this bond that the audience is having with the characters mm -hmm. on screen. And so, yes, I cried. You are Whoa. going to cry. All right. But it's a good kind of cry, and you feel Not good, good and you feel sort of soulful. You feel the power of the film when you're walking out of it. Eric Davis. Oh. Well. Love having you to talk movies. Come we'll back be, I feel like we'll Come be, back every week. I feel like we'll be talking Oscars. I know. Uh, I hope so. We will be. Yeah. I hope so. Looking right. forward to that. <laughs> Eric, thank you, my friend. Appreciate Thanks. it.